closest to the positive, the black lead will come over to the other portion of the uh, resistor. But in order to do that, I need to select amperage. And this we, we know that the fuse is good in the 20 amp port. And I'm going to move the selector switch over to the 20 amp port also. When I put the meter over here, the red one is going to connect to that port. The current is going to flow through the red wire, through the meter, out of the meter, through the black wire, to the resistor, through the resistor, and to ground. Under here, there's a wire that goes up and connects back to the power supply. Calculated, I have 12.1 volts, and I have approximately 100 ohms resistance. I'm seeing that I've got 119 milliamps. Okay. If I had a true 12 volts with a true 100 ohm, I would have 120 milliamps. And that's how I check amperage. And I would do that for the remaining. When it's on amperage, just bring it down, bring both down. One there, now I'm going to check and I would record the amperage for the next one. Bring down for the next one. Record the amperage for it. If you'll notice, it gets less and less current because I'm changing the resistance. Watch the first one. 117 milliamps, 118, 119 milliamps now, 120 milliamps. That's good. That's a 100 ohm resistor. The next one's a 1,000 ohm resistor, so it should only be 12 milliamps. So I move this down, and I see that I've got 12 milliamps. It's 0 0.012. Okay. If I move it down to 10K, it's only going to be 1.2 milliamps. My meter is not going to show that because I'm on the 20 amp scale. But I do see 0 0.001. Okay. If the milliamp fuse was working and I was in the milliamp port, it would show me that it was actually 1.2 milliamps. Okay. That's how you do amperage. We already saw how to do the voltage. Make sure that you are knowing what test you're doing. If you take when the meter is on amperage settings, and if you go across the resistor with the wire connected to it, like if I did this, which I'm not going to, if I did that, I would burn the fuse that's inside that meter. Okay? Because the current's gonna go through that wire, through the meter. And to the back out of the black wire to the green wire to ground, so it's shorting it out, shorts the fuse, and burns burns it up. Okay, don't do it that way. When you do this, it has to be on volts, and this has to be in the volt port. If you're doing amperage, one of them has to be disconnected. You put the red lead towards the positive, the black lead towards towards the ground side, okay? and it gives us a lead. That's how we do this exercise. Okay. Well, that didn't take long for me to do that. Either. That's it? Okay. Okay. I know.